Welcome to National Apprenticeship Week with Sheet Metal Workers Local 7. My name is Derek Scarlevi, and I'm one of the two training coordinators for Local 7. Local 7 offers a four-year apprenticeship program registered with the U.S. Department of Labor. Some of the many training topics covered are welding, commercial HVAC service and installation, architectural sheet metal, and many different Autodesk softwares such as AutoCAD, Revit, and Inventor. Local 7 also offers one of the best certification programs in the country, which includes certifications such as AWS Welding, OSHA 30, Mine Safety, First Aid CPR, Qualified Rigging, and HVAC Service and TAB certifications, to name a few. Most apprentices will be required to attend class days that are offered on a bi-weekly schedule at one of our four training centers located across the state of Michigan. Advancement in the apprenticeship program is based on maintaining an 80% or higher grade point average. Local seven apprentices also work full time at one of our over 50 signatory employers in Michigan. And on top of that, most apprentices are paid while attending class. If you are interested in a career that allows you to work with your hands, learn new things every day while earning a premium wage with included benefits, a career as a local seven sheet metal worker may be the one for you. During today's presentation, we're gonna follow along with a few of the registered apprentices with local seven as they take us through the steps of fabricating the stainless steel squared around that we have here on display. Hi, I'm Zach Elder. I'm a second year apprentice for the local seven sheet metal workers and I'm 26 years old. I'm Skyler, I'm 20 years old. I'm a second year apprentice for local seven sheet metal. Uh, today we're gonna be tying together this exhaust run and uh, he's gonna help me uh, get this taken care of. All right, so I need some dimensions for that OG offset. And bottom's 12 by 12. Okay. Uh, what do I got for space between? 19 inches. Okay. And what about the diameter of that pipe? It's eight inches. I'm Akil Jackson. I'm a local seven apprentice and I work for Allied Mechanical Service and I'm an apprentice. I'm a first year apprentice and uh, I think that I had uh, really wanted to take this opportunity and take this job because of what came with it and the knowledge that I would gain just from working here and going to school and just learning the basics of it. Now that we have dimensions for our squared around project from Skylar and Zach, the next step is to transfer our sketch into AutoCAD. Sheet metal workers use a wide variety of different computer-aided softwares for different parts of their industry. Some of the CAD softwares used include AutoCAD, Revit, Navisworks, Duck Fabrication, and SolidWorks. As you watch, you'll see that the layout process being used to create our flat patterns for this fitting is a form of triangulation. Triangulation is the process of finding an unknown point from two known points. Sheet metal workers are one of the only trades that still use these types of pattern development to create all kinds of custom and unique projects. After the squared around, 
patterns are created on AutoCAD. They will be transferred into SolidWorks where they will be assembled as a three-dimensional object, which can then be transferred out to our CNC plasma table to be cut from a sheet of metal. Hi, my name is James Byron. I'm a second year apprentice with Local 7 Sheet Metal. Today I'm going to show you how to run the burn table. In class, we drew up these four squared around parts. We're going to transfer it over to the computer here. This right here will show you all the travel paths and puncture points that your tooling will pass over. It'll show you everything you need to know that the table will be doing. We'll load up our program. Safety first. We'll get our parts burned up. <laughs> I'm Spencer Borges. I'm a second year apprentice at the Local 7 Sheet Metal Workers. I'm 21 years old and I'm going to take you steps on how to prep stainless for getting ready to weld it. For first, I'm going to use this belt sander and I'm going to use a scotch brite belt on the belt sander. Hi, my name is Hunter Dickinson. I'm 20 years old with Local 7 Sheet Metal. Uh, Spencer Boises just 
prepped this piece of metal for me and I'm gonna tape some cardboard on it and send it through the roll. Zach Barnett, Local 7 Sheet Metal Workers, second year apprentice. This piece has already been laid out in CAD and burned out on our plasma table. Now I'm going to show you the steps to bumping up a squared around. My name is Monica Solis and I'm a first year Local 7 apprentice. I joined the program to gain valuable skills I'll carry out through my career and have fun while doing it. My name is Scott Mackey. I'm a third year apprentice with the Local 7 Chief Metal Workers. Now that we've got this squared around, measured, burnt out, fabricated, I'm going to walk you through the welding process. 